Namaste. Welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy. Welcome to this beautifully lit, prosperous YouTube. Over here, I like to do different spiritually related videos, content. If you enjoy the vibrinos, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up, okay? Let's get into the messages. I'm sending you all wellness. Okay, so let's get into the channel message. What I got here is how much you level up is all that people can talk about, okay? So whatever the vibes is for that, let's get the messages here. Holy Spirit, Archangels and Guides. What is it I need to see concerning this message? seem to talk about so it's like people could be talking about you and then it's like people were talking about you like the old you who you used to be six of pentacles in reverse you changed i just heard my my how you changed so somebody feels people feel like you changed you're not the same person especially if they've known you before in any past tense What's the Six of Pentacles? Spirit, what's the Six of Pentacles? To the Seven of Cups. You're not the same anymore. People might feel like they can't even do the same things that they used to do to you, talk to you the same way. Or the way that you interact or something like that. The way that you come across. It's like they don't recognize you, Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups? What's the Seven of Cups? It's like people in the past actually tried to lie even about you. Or say foul shit or messed up things about you. Lack of understanding here about you. I feel like you've just been striving to be a better person. The way that you come across. The way that you interact with people. Page of Swords. You've been changing that Wheel of Fortune. What's the page of swords? Page of swords. Page of swords. So the will of fortune, you've been changing that. I guess people wanted you to stay the same or like to not grow. So people could be sending you negative energy, not wanting you to grow or trying to block your psyche here, your mind. When people are talking about this beautiful change that you're making, people are talking about it. It's all over their lips. Your name. Okay, if you got a business, a company, or anything like that, they're talking about that. People could be looking you up or something like that. What's the will of fortune? With the moon here. So if you have any sort of business, it's like people trying to figure that out. Like, what is that? You know, um, maybe if you um, help people or something like that, getting pointers or gaining some sort of experience or knowledge from you. I get that people try to do that in an inadvertent way, even with this King of Wands. But that's for a whole different message. Let's keep going. Something about your level up with the King of Wands here. It's like you're leading the pack or leading the crew. Okay. 
a lot of people feel like they should be doing certain things as well with themselves. So it's like you're inspiring other people to change their lives. To make better decisions with the King of Wands. What's the King of Wands? To the Ten of Cups. So you're helping people to see clearly. Put things into perspective. Their priorities. Worry about their future. Things like that. So you're very inspirational is what I get. That's what people say in the change is. Maybe you lived a carefree life in the past and you weren't worried about these things. Maybe that was part of your spiritual journey to go through that right phase in your life. To get to this point, okay? So people are talking about this, okay? And how they could start implementing change into their own lives with the Knight of Wands. Okay, because you're very inspirational or helpful. Queen of Cups. Like people have seen that you've worked through certain barriers or certain downfalls that you may have had in the past in a successful way. And they also want to do that for themselves, okay? So people are taking, if you are somebody who gives advice or helps people to see things clearly, okay? People could be coming to you for advice, okay? Get some sort of insight or clarity, seeing as though you have um, a high level of intuition or knowledge here with the Queen of Cups. Just experience. This is what I'm getting with the Queen of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups? Yeah, the Emperor. A lot of experience. Like wisdom. Even. So. <clears throat> that's why everybody's talking about the changes. That you're making. Because. These are phenomenal changes. That people are watching you make. And it's just helping other people, you know, have that aha moment or that moment where it just clicks for them, right? With the emperor. What's the emperor? People see three of pentacles. People see you so differently now. I guess, like, a lot of people may have had, like, a different perception or a different viewpoint of you than what you wanted them to see. And you change that perspective by doing something differently. With this Five of Swords, it's like you took control of your life or you decided to find solutions instead of just problems in your life, right? Five of Swords. What's the Five of Swords? To the nine of cups. What's the nine of cups? To the high priestess. The high priestess is like you. People feel like you could help them or you have this sort of energy to where you're a leader on a spiritual level. You were just sent here to guide people, okay? And I feel like for the most part, you do this on a spiritual level as far as like developing yourself and gaining this spiritual um, enlightenment going that path right I feel like you do that just for yourself as an individual something that you feel like you need to do however it expands beyond just you doing it for the sake of your wellness your one drop affects everybody else's vibration like in the, in the world you know that's how our energy works, right? 
That's what they talk about collective consciousness because we're all connected. And I feel like <clears throat> that's where you are. The high priestess. What is the high priestess? What is the high priestess? To the eight of wands. A lot of people look at your success or like the good things that's happening for you in your life. You know, people look at that like as a way to like know and confirm to them that you're doing the works that you're supposed to be doing. That's how people know. They know you by your success. They know you by you having results. Okay. What is the Eight of Wands to the Seven of Swords? I deeply feel like what's the Seven of Swords? Like somebody may have said or tried to challenge the path that you're on. That's what the change is. Okay, I deeply get that here with the Seven of Swords. Someone could have tried to interfere with your process. A lot of talking, gossip. Even a bird, damn, I just seen that. Even a bird is like squawking. If you could see it, his mouth is wide open. It's like somebody could be talking or chattering. I didn't even see that till I just looked down. What's the Seven of Swords? What's the Seven of Swords? That's why I just clarified it. Two of Cups in reverse. Deeply, I get that. What is the uh, <clears throat> Two of Cups? Four of Swords. Being nosy. There could be people just being nosy, spying, trying to be extra overly critical. And I feel like if people did talk about you, it just really put a spotlight or some sort of flashlight on what you're doing. So it puts you extra under the microscope. So it helped you shape you to shape you in like a beautiful way or something or in a way that is beneficial to you. Maybe you needed that, right? Less. <laughs> okay. What is a four of swords? What is a four of swords? What is a four of swords? To the queen of wands. Like, people, I feel like you didn't start out this way, this sort of high priestess. Like, you could have always been a high priestess by birth, right? But you didn't start out in this way where you knew everything or you were the most successful example. However, your success has outdone Past discretions, 1333 when I started this message. Past discretions or past imperfections. Your progress, your success, your results. It's like you're outdoing something here. It's the vibe that I'm getting with this Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands? What's the Queen of Wands to the justice? Yeah, to the temperance. So you could have had a hiccup in the past or just something in the past where, you know, you had to kind of play out karma or fate, destiny, even, right? And I feel like you overcame something. There was some sort of obstacle that you overcame, okay, with the Four of Pentacles. And I feel like you've been keeping your virtue, you know, on point, your integrity intact. Something about that journey, that process. Not saying anybody's perfect, but it's just... I'm hearing like flawless defeat. Okay? <laughs> Literally. What's the Four of Pentacles? 
real shit. Eight of Swords in reverse. It's like people can't help but see how much you've changed or grown. Big girl panties, I heard. So you got your big girl panties on, you know? Okay. What is the Eight of Swords? Yeah, the Empress. They can't help but see everything that you touch. It grows and it turns into gold or whatever it is that you're going about. If you're trying to achieve something, it's successful. Or if you're going to learn something, you learn it. You know what I mean? You just have this vibe, this sort of energy to where you're taking a lot of time within yourself to learn something, to master something, to become better. And people can't help but see the result of that in your energy. All right. So there could be people talking shit about you. But despite all of that, it actually makes people like want to know what's up right with you. Okay. I guess somebody's spying like a even attract that type of energy like someone feels like you match their vibe or their energy here as well with this empress and the emperor up here so somebody could be feeling somebody could have talked about you just so that like the opposite your opposite sex doesn't feel attracted to you or something like that. Some shit like that. That's the vibe I'm getting. So, like, if you were a girl, right? People didn't want, like, dudes to be interested in you. If you are a guy, people didn't want girls to be interested in you, right? Take out resonate. Like, somebody didn't want some... Two people to get together or some shit like that. I'm getting again yeah, with the ten of swords. What's behind this with the five? My wands to the two wands. Yeah, the damn the fool. To the page of cups. Oh my god, see? To the six of cups. This could have been somebody you knew from the past or somebody that watched you grow up or something like that. This could be somebody older for some of you guys. What is the Empress? What is the Empress? What is the Empress? Yeah, we got Ten of Swords. It's like... <clears throat> People watched you grow or watched you change or make like some positive good things happen in your life from negative circumstances or circumstances that really challenged you, right? And they watched you make it out of those situations in a way to where you were unfazed, you were unaffected, okay, by whatever calamity that it was, okay? Ten of Swords. What's the Ten of Swords? Yeah, Knight of Cups to the Six of Cups. And so people wanted to block love from coming into your life. They wanted to block or hinder some sort of happy ending I'm hearing. Got the Two of Cups over here. That's the energy of love. Just period. What's the Six of Cups to the Knight of Cups? What's the Six of Cups to the Knight of Cups? To the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. This was a divine union. This is a divine union. Somebody, I don't know why they're trying to block this or stop something, but it's not going to happen. I'm seeing with the strength. There's a divine union or some sort of partnership here that's getting ready to happen, okay? Yeah, the strength in the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Something is impenetrable. 
to the page of wands to the three of wands it's up to these two people what is the strength yeah people feel like you're stronger than them or like you have endured so much that like you have a certain type of strength or a certain type of quality that makes you stronger right i'm hearing iron okay queen of pentacles i'm hearing iron <clears throat> iron fortitude or something like that iron sharpens iron okay and that's what i feel like this power couple is with this emperor and this empress here Let's get a clarification for the temperance. And we got the judgment. The three of wands. It's like the changes that you've made. It forces other people to see their wrongs or their imperfections or the things they want to fix as well. It forces people to want to do that. Let me see what I, what I need to clean out my closet. Let me do what I need to do for me, right? So because you have that type of energy, there's a lot of people that are coming to some sort of reckoning here. There's people that are fixing their lives. There's people that are starting to take accountability for things they've done in the past, okay? There's people out here doing shadow work, okay? Because they see you dealing with your shadow, okay? So there's a lot coming up here, you know, because you changed, okay? And you had this sort of level up, okay? And I'm getting this could be spiritual, physically, financially, right? To where you've created some sort of longevity here. And again, people are just taking notes because it's like, well, no matter what was said, look at it, how long this person has been doing this. And so your success speaks for itself here is the vibes that I'm getting. Bottom of the deck is in the five of pentacles, okay? Some people are in misery and agony, okay? They can't get their money right. Their money situation is not working out. Some people are lazy, okay? And just truly don't believe, okay? A lack of faith for those that don't want to change, okay? That are refusing the inspiration, okay? But yeah, this one I'm good for the reading. Let me know how y'all like this one down below. I love you. Bye.